morning, morning, morning. Welcome back, welcome back, everyone. Look at that, 698 is here. Look where we are. Did you recognize this? Yes, we're back. We're back at BHP UK. That's right, the 698 is going on the dyno. We are gonna do some dyno work today at BHP headquarters. You know, I love these guys up north, so we're gonna do some runs on it when it's totally stark. We're gonna flip the exhaust over, we're gonna change the air filter, and we're gonna just get some stats and figures for everyone. So everyone's clear what it produces, what it does, what it doesn't, etc. And uh, we're gonna get inside into the dyno room. Magic of lights, woohoo! Yeah man, this is where all the business is gonna happen, so uh, should be a good video. Let's go. in let's do this stock stock and let's just see what this thing produces stock we've got the main man luigi here look at him looking gucci <laughs> skinnier than ever man putting this all to shame those fat bastards over here not you cal <laughs> your body beautiful mate <laughs> yeah let's just see what this thing makes stock on the dyno and uh, we'll take it from there with the other options Test number two, Austin Racing cans are on, seat is on with the lid and the stock air filter. We're gonna get back, do the same thing, same three runs, and then you can see what the stats say. Right, let's get on.
right, so SCs are on. Uh, and again, the same, the same sort of runs we're going to do with the stock, lid off, and then the sprint. So plenty of testing today. Third test. Stand filter with the airbox lid. Blue is stand filter, no airbox lid. Orange is sprint filter, no airbox lid. No more power at the top. They're all making the same power at the top. Within two tenths, three tenths of a horsepower. They're all but still 73 7, top end, yeah. Yeah, 7,000 uh, 7, RPM though. You've made another three horsepower. <laughs> I'm, I'm really surprised actually. Yeah? I'm really surprised, yeah. So why, why is the, that lid, just having the lid on it causing, because he's just very restricted? Yeah, yeah. You, you bring him to a much smaller gap, aren't you? Oh, interesting. All right, that's the, so you want to get the that's test three done. The cap in you, yeah. you cut it out. So you just, so you're pushing the clutch into close. So you're just so holding the base of the edge, is yeah. probably the, and leaving the open as much as exposed yeah. as it possible. Cool. with the light there yeah, actually yeah oh well right Austin Racing did the similar runs cans on its own with the stock filter and the lid lid off and then changed it to the sprint top end yeah 73 yeah all right just the difference between the the three Austin Racing runs on its own <laughs> yeah similar yeah yeah uh, it's actually uh, Mad in it, just all in that seven K man. Get a boost. Six, seven, eight, almost. Maybe air filters have moved on, mate. Since. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has. 
Or new bikes can just cope with it a bit better. I'm not sure. New electronics and stuff. So, lid off, big boost, changing the filter, even more of a boost. Combine the two together, job done, mate. So imagine when the flash comes along, man. Every fucking bike's going to be nuts. So, stock, stock, completely stock. Everything on lid on. All right. 73.16. So that's almost the same power as what the top end, what the others were making, yeah, weren't they? Yeah, they're identical. Okay, that's, that's interesting, isn't it? Whoa, so red, so red is the stock, yeah? yeah? So stock, 56, stock is making more. Yeah, yeah. But it's weird how the stock just makes a little bit more. So it's 60% throttle 60 now. 60% throttle, right at just over 5,000 RPM. You get a bit of a crossover where the stock... The red line, the red line stock, yeah. ...keeps making power, but the Cap end, cams end cams start to fall off. You can see it here in the fuel mixture. Ah, and it's still... The blue line's still lean, isn't it? Yeah, Yeah, the blue line still feels lean. Okay. That's because, obviously, you're using more air. So he needs a tuner. So the can, do the cans need a tune? Need tune I mean, look at that. At uh, 8,000 RPM, you're Whew. eight horsepower down. Flipping it. Okay, so this is all three. This is end can stock, no lid, and the sprint filter. Obviously, max. Well, just that. Uh, what's that? Is that 7,500 yeah. RPM? Yeah, so seven, uh, the red is stock. Yeah. The blue is SC. And the green is SD. Okay. The fueling needs corrected. Once the fueling is corrected, it's going to be a different story. So, after speaking to the main man and doing these all these trial and errors and different changes of configuration, if you want the biggest power bang for buck on these bikes at the moment, which are there isn't a tune available for it at the moment, unless you go to Termi and get the shitty up map, the biggest gains is there with. 75, well, 76 horsepower of a stock Encans lid off with a sprint filter is the red line and the blue lines is everything stock. Stock cans, lid on, stock air filter. So uh, it is all about air until this man can sort out the fueling and then we'll be making some more bonkers, bonkers powers. Peak horsepower at six and a half. Whoa. You'd proper feel that, wouldn't you, on the road? You definitely feel that. So there's the mod for now. Yeah, that is the mod, guys. That is the tip of the day from BHP UK. If you want some power, blow some more air into your hyper. Fucking happy days. Get in.